setting of the sea. Come on, guys. Your name is to be you to know that today is very prophetic. Your pastor just had a baby. Somebody's about to have a baby. Wow, wow, wow. I feel a prophetic anointing. How many people are carrying God's baby? Carrying a dream? Carrying a prophecy? Carrying something on the inside of you? Wow, lift your voice and give a shout. Tell somebody I'm carrying something. I'm carrying something. Well, go to another three people and say, Can you handle what I'm carrying? I'm carrying nations. I'm carrying visions. I'm carrying institutions. I'm carrying the purpose of God. Look at someone. I'm carrying something. So the angel of the Lord came to Mary. I said, Mary, you are going to carry something that is going to change the nations. There's somebody I came to preach to this evening. I came to announce to you, you are not just like every other person. Your room can carry the purposes of God. Who is it I'm talking to? You are just not like any other person. God is about to release to you the destiny of nations. If you are the one I'm talking to, shout, I'm carrying something. So the angels came to Mary and said to Mary, rejoice. You know why? Joy prepares you for conception. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said joy prepares you for conception. 
Do you know how we get pregnant in the spirit? Uh, the angel said to Mary, rejoice. Do you know how we get pregnant in the spirit? Uh, Isaiah declared, sing, O barren. You know what that means? Uh, if you're barren, if there's any barrenness in any area of your life, when you start rejoicing, when you start dancing, when you start singing, you are about to get pregnant. Uh, you should be very uh, sensitive and you should understand that when you start singing and dancing you are opening up your womb so that God can release his seed that's why you don't criticize a worshiper that's why you should never look down a dancer or somebody who knows how to worship there are some guys in this room they are so macho they are not moved from where they are they are so cool. They are looking at all of us and wondering what's wrong with us. They don't understand that we are trying to get pregnant. We are trying to... Ay, 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 ay. Seats. If the person by your side is making you feel you're taking it too far, look at that person and say, I'm trying to get pregnant. I'm trying to get pregnant. I know the guys are finding that funny. How can a man carry a baby? You don't understand. I'm not talking about uh, uh, the natural baby. I'm talking about destiny. I'm talking about purpose. I'm talking about prophecy. Is there anybody that wants to push out your baby? So listen, the way we get pregnant is by rejoicing. And the way you get barren is by criticizing a worshiper. A woman saw her husband dancing, saw her husband worshiping before God, saw her husband expressing her, himself before God. And she said to, to David, uh, look at you, see what you're doing, see how you're disgracing yourself. Listen to me, when I come into God's presence, I don't have any reputation. When I come into God's presence, my miracle, my foundation, my Brazilian hair does not matter. My matcha, my biceps does not matter. When I come into God's presence, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of God. I prophesy that in these 20 days of glory God will impregnate you with vision I didn't hear your amen God will impregnate you with purpose I didn't hear your amen God will impregnate you with destiny ah, did you know the word of God is seed the word of God is seed that when we speak this word it's called an incorruptible seed which means that word is powerful. How did Mary get pregnant? Ah, some people don't understand the technology. Akuvala, she didn't sleep with Joseph. No, how did she get pregnant? Akuvala, the angel was speaking to her. And she said, how shall these things be? How will it happen? It defies chemistry and biology. How will it happen? And the angel looked at her and said, the Holy Ghost will come upon you which means when the holy ghost comes uh, somebody is about to get pregnant uh, but i really believe that what sealed that insemination was when mary lifted up her hands and said be it unto me according to thy word push she got pregnant uh, is there any five or ten or fifteen people who say, Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Every word released on this mountain, every prophetic word, be it unto me. Be it unto me. Shaka paraka. Open up your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. 
taking place in this room this evening. Did you hear what I said? Which means dreams are about to be present. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Isaiah 66 verse 9. I just sense it's going to be a prophetic meeting tonight. Maybe I'll teach a bit and we'll see where God will take us in the next 30 minutes. But listen to me. We are in God's divine theater room. Somebody is about to push out your baby. You're about to push out the call of God on your life. Can you read that with me? Shall I bring to the time of birth? Look at someone and say, this is the time of birth. Or oh, look at your neighbor and say, this is my time to push. Which means, listen, when is the time of birth, you don't behave yourself. You push. Ah, yeah, because some of you have never been pregnant. I know there's some married people here who understand. I said, when is time for birth, you don't think about your makeup. Yeah, 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 yeah. When is the time for birth? You, you, you have to position yourself. There got to be something. It's a, it's a junction between life and death. Listen to me. Many of you here have prophecies over your life. You have things that has been spoken over your life. And Dukaba, the Lord said to tell you, this is the time of birth. This 20 days of glory is going to be different because you are going to push something out. I say you're going to push out your calling. I say you're going to push out your ministry. If you believe it, shall push. Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery? Says the Lord. Shall I cause delivery? Shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb? Says your God. Listen to me. Dukapala deskitiya. And do At least two things are happening in this meeting. Some people are getting pregnant, some others are pushing out their baby. Whatever it is, in the next three minutes, forget the person by your side and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Don't behave yourself. Take your prophecy and push. Take the word of the Lord and push. I will fulfill the call of God. I will fulfill the ministry God has called me into. I will go where God sent me to. I will marry who God decides for me. I will fulfill the purpose of God. I will fulfill my calling. Somebody pray. I will fulfill the call of God of my life. I will push out my prophecy. I will push out the word of the Lord. I am going to the nations. I am going to the nations. Somebody pray. Take it to another level. I'm a judge, 
Are you ready? Lift your hands. When I shall push you, lift the sound. One, kataba katakabaha. Two, pakata kapakata. Three, somebody shall push. Distracted, come on in the name of Jesus. This is the time of birth. This is the time of birth. Ministries are being birthed. This is the time of birth. New levels of boldness, new levels of power, new levels of wisdom. Shakata. 
Those of you in the choir, lift your hands. I hear the pattern of a new sound. The pattern of a new sound. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it, those of you in the choir? At the count of three, I want you to shout push because you're going to get new sounds. New songs are coming out of you. Are you ready for it? Hold hands. Those of you in the choir, hold your hands together and lift your hands. Hold your hands together and lift your hands. That power is everywhere right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Yes, Lord. And when you shout, Yes, Lord, there's going to be release of new sounds. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout, Yes, Lord. Take it now. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power. Take it now. That's the power. That's the power. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Katala Baskata. Oh, Jesh Katala Brakata. Oh, Jesh Katala Balataska. Oh, Shukala Daskata. Aya Daskita. Parakata Naba. First Timothy 118. Put it up there. Kopala Katas Kataha. I hope nobody's missing out. I hope nobody's missing out. I hear in my spirit uh, divine encounters. Encounters with God is breaking out in this room. It will no more be just uh, reserved for the pulpit. It will no more just reserved for Pastor Mavish. You too will walk in the power of God. suggestion the call upon your life of God upon your life is not a suggestion it is a charge it's a command you must receive the call of God on your life as a calling as a charge as a command as a as an instruction it's not a suggestion this charge this charge Discharge, Makapala Daska. There is a commanded generation rising up in this room. A generation that will take their calling as a command. Hold it. We're going to walk with these scriptures because I sense there's a, there's a prayer anointing. So we just walk with this scripture. Listen, hear me. You are not permitted to choke with the call of God on your life. It is a command. You give commands to militants. You give commands to people who understand that this assignment must be carried out. You must change Nigeria. It is not a suggestion. You must change government. You must change 
the entertainment space. You must change the way church is done. It is not a suggestion. Hear me. David showed up. Showed up at the battle and said, Who is this uncircumcised Philistia? He showed up and he got angry in the spirit. Listen to me. Makupalaka, the days of coming to church just to get blessed is over. These are the days where you come to church Makipara to receive your command. These are the days you come to church Makata to come under military training and, 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 and regiment. Somebody say yes sir. No, your yes sir is civilian. Say yes sir. Yes sir. You will fulfill the call of God upon your life. Shout yes sir. Yes sir. Don't say it like a civilian. You will go to the nation. Shout yes sir. Yes sir. Entertainment is waiting for you. Shout yes sir. Yes sir. Ayakata balakata. The educational space is waiting for you. Shout yes sir. Yes sir. Your family is waiting for you. Shout yes sir. Yes sir. You are that generation that will see Akaka, the greatest move of God, and you cannot do church as usual. You must come to church with a new mindset that there are territories to take, there are prophecies that must be fulfilled. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You didn't say that yes, I like you believe it. Prophecies have gone over you. Your history is too rich for you to, to mismanage your season. The history of the church in Nigeria is too rich for you to mess up what our fathers built. Moses brought us out of Egypt. But there's a Joshua generation that must enter Canaan. And they will not enter Canaan as civilians. Aso Rock is waiting for us. I didn't hear you say yes, sir. Kutabala Naskatabaha. Tesi Prakataha. Out of this house, out of the church, will come forth reality TV that will also hold the generation bound. But there will not be nudity. There will not. You didn't hear what I said. There's a bigger brother than big brother. Samuel, you can't be sleeping when Ella is sleeping. No, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Two generations cannot be sleeping at the same time. You can allow Eli sleep. He has served his time. Uh, Samuel, you cannot sleep. No sleep tonight. Someone shout, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a charge. It's a charge. It's a command that you fulfill the call of God that you fulfill your prophecy at the count of three shout that yes sir and burst into tongues like the father and that the commander in chief himself has called you respond to his call respond to his assignment are you ready are you ready put up your hand for a salute at the count of three shout yes sir and pray the holy ghost receive your command one two three shout yes sir yes sir pray the holy ghost pray the holy ghost
You didn't hear what I just said. We will go to places where they say we can't enter. We will attack. We will we will cause the damage and escape the danger. Somebody say yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a holy anger rising in this place. There's a holy anger rising in this place. Keep Allah baskataha. Endurafa katara baskataha. Yes, katara palas kitala daskata. Supreme katara. Why do the heathens rage? And the people imagine the vain thing. The Lord will laugh at them in his, and put them to derision. I have set my son on my holy mountain to ask of me. And I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. And the ends of the earth for your possession. the three points of the night. This charge means you are a commanded generation. Which means you are under command. You are militants. You are not a man. You are not a woman. You are a soldier. <laughs> Begin to live your Christian life from a place of I'm under command. why you cannot gossip and slander you are under command to love you didn't hear what I said you are under look at somebody say I love you by force you're not helping me you're not helping me look at that person and say I'm under, I'm under command to love you I'm under command to pray men ought always to pray if you don't pray, you become a prey. It's a command. You don't have to feel like it. When you wake up tomorrow morning, and let your, your, your spirit go ahead of your body. Wake up. Coming 
into church is not, it's not a suggestion. You are under command. Do not forsake the gathering of yourselves. From today, nobody will beg you to come to church again. Why? You are under command. say Lord what is the assignment for today Lord how many souls today Lord what do you want to do where do you want to call today somebody say yes sir yes sir you don't have your own agenda any longer your five year plan must be submitted to his eternal plan in him we live in him we move. In him we have our being. Akupala dastika ropa shkata. From today I decree and I declare. You will run like a soldier. Amen. You will respond like a soldier. Amen. Before the Lord calls you already running towards his purpose. Amen. Somebody shout yes sir. Yes sir. He said this church I commit to you. We are not just a commanded generation, we are a committed generation. Look at someone and say, I'm committed. You didn't hear me. Look at somebody and say, I'm so committed. You know, some people are just interested. They are not committed. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They are just interested. They are not committed. That's why you have to stand to that. We're almost done. I have a couple of minutes. The time has come where we don't need interested believers. We need committed ones. Manuko pala katika tashka. Shubriya kata. The time came, Jesus began to teach some deep things. Began to teach some things that was hard to swallow. How I know you've gone beyond just being interested is can you follow when you don't understand? Jesus was teaching and said, eat my flesh, drink my blood. And that sounded like, okay, calm down now. He never reached like that. But the season we have come into, there are some things God will ask you to do you don't understand. There was no promise that you, you follow just because you understand. No, you follow, then you will understand. We don't know to follow, we follow to know. Whoever comes to him must believe that he is. Our faith is not first in what he can do. Our faith is in who he is. If he doesn't do it, he's still who he is. You didn't hear me. If he doesn't do it, he's still who he is. Because our faith is built on who he is. Long after your prayer points are over, he's still God. He is not God because of your prayer points. A generation is rising who will worship him. Committed to him because of who he is. allow the spirit of commitment take you beyond your misunderstanding because there are some things you will not understand so when he was saying to them ah, pull down this temple and I'll build it in three days they didn't understand but they still followed they still followed when he talked about deep things they didn't understand they still followed listen there are some things God wants to say to you your head cannot handle it's your heart that can believe it you must let your heart go ahead of your head. If you follow God with your head, you will never be able to go where he wants you to go. We follow God with our heart. You didn't hear what I said. Abraham, leave your father's house and go to the land I will show you. Who does that? When you ask them now, where are you going to say the land God will show me? What land is the land God will show you? It takes commitment. 
Look at someone saying I'm committed. Shake the person and say I'm committed. When you don't understand, you need to learn how to stay committed. Then Jesus asked them and said, Are you offended by these things? Will you remain committed even when you are offended? I'm doing John chapter 6. That's why I, mean. I don't want us to go there. It's a long way. Go and read John chapter 6, the last part of that scripture. He said, Are you offended? When people became offended by what Jesus was saying, they get it. It is not only your pastor that people are offended at. Jesus, too, people were offended at him. You don't understand fulfilling destiny if you want everybody to like you. That's why some of you, when you post a picture and nobody likes it, you go into depression. Because you like to be liked. There's a committed generation that will say, even though I am offended, even though Sister PC offended me, she doesn't have the power to take me out of the call. I will not leave church because Osha did not usher me well. Am I talking to a committed generation? I will not leave church because God has not answered my prayer. Someone say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will not leave church because they didn't give me microphone to sing. I've been backing up. Backing up. Am I sister back up? Someone say you don't have the power. You don't have the power. You don't hear me. Look at someone say you don't have the power. Look at someone say you never get the power to get me offended. Listen, listen, listen. Offended, off-ended, off-ended, off-ended. When you give somebody the power to off, listen. When you stay offended, you are allowing somebody to take you off your end. You like that? Let me give you another one. Offense is an event. Offended is a decision. Offense is an event. The Bible says, get ready, offense will come. People will offend you. Even pastor will offend you. Offense is an event. But to stay offended is your decision. I refuse to be offended. To you be didn't offended. hear me, Potters. I say I refuse to be offended. To be Shake offended. your head. Shut somebody and say you know get up. I refuse. I refuse. Let this house be a house of love. Where, where we give you forgiveness in advance. Before you offend, we already have forgiveness for you. Do you know what forgive means? Forgive, which means I've already prepared it to give to you. Forgive. You don't have to say I'm sorry. I am a carrier of forgiveness. to come tomorrow. You have to come. Look at someone and say, I'm committed. I'm committed. So we are a commanded generation and we are a committed generation. Our life is on the altar. We don't sneak out of the altar. We are a living sacrifice. That's, a, that's, that's, that's really hard for God, you know. You're supposed to be dead, but you're a living sacrifice. Which means even though you are living, you are dead. part of what Jesus said to them when, they, when many people left they were first of all they didn't understand what he was teaching they were offended and the thought was many people left Jesus looked at his disciples and said will you also leave will you stay committed when others leave look at someone and say I'm staying here ah you didn't hear what I said I said look at someone and say I'm staying here, I'm staying here. 
I'm following Jesus the rest of my life. Makata, I didn't hear somebody declare to somebody, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I have found. Look at someone say, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, they told you, you see this your church thing. Let's give you three months. Let's give you three years. They are not, they don't know what they, what they, what they have entered. Give me, the, Jesus said to the twelve. Look at someone and say, I'm part of the twelve. You are not helping me. Shake someone and say, I'm part of the twelve. I'm part of the twelve. Look at someone and say, when you leave, I'll still be here. When you leave, I'll, still be here. I'll still be following Jesus. I'll still be praying. I'll still be fasting. I'll still be giving. I'll still be a church addict. Those who want to go, go. Let those who want to be one leg in the world and one church, they're just testing church. No, let them. Did you know this 12? Because they follow Jesus. Ah! Their name has eternal relevance. In heaven, there are pillars. The new Jerusalem that the name of these 12 people will be written on. They will sit around the throne of Jesus. Look at someone and say, I am committed. Committed. Marry somebody that is not committed. When the brother says, I want to marry you, pull out a list and say, It's called my commitment list. Who is your pastor? <laughs> Do you believe in Titan? Do you speak in tongues? Do you take communion? to get pastors online. Do you also want to go with the next line? I have to finish. The next line. The next verse. Can we read that together? But Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You. Look at someone and say, where are they going now? Where are they going now? Look at someone and say, I'm not going anywhere. Say we thank you. Three years down the line, we'll still be here. Five years down the line, we'll still be following Jesus. Ten years down the line, I'll meet you at an airport somewhere in Heathrow or somewhere in Australia. I say, Pastor Gideon, I'm still following. Compared to children like kingdom influence and impact, and they will still be on fire yeah, 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 for God. You have the words, your words are, are quantity and quality. Lift your hands. miss tomorrow night don't miss tomorrow night it's gonna be something else if you can fast and pray tomorrow do it because there's going to be impartation I says I'm gonna be laying hands of us and as many people as possible it's gonna be it's gonna be a Holy Ghost party tomorrow night I tell you there's gonna be an impartation look at someone and say I'm under command look at somebody else and say I'm committed Look at somebody else and say, I am, I am commanded I am and I am committed. I am committed. Put it anywhere anybody wants to hear. Put it on Instagram, put it on your DP, put it anywhere. And tell them, this one, I'm commanded and I'm committed.
Somebody shout, yes, sir! Yes, sir! Shout, yes, sir!